Hi everyone, how's it going? I know it's been a while since I last posted my video on May of this year. My apologies for that, of course. That was the reason why I haven't been posting, because I've been really busy a lot, or I just was pretty lazy too. But anyways, you may notice my Kyle Larson hauler right there. And I got me a few die casts in the background. And these, for example, I just could not, you know, pass on. I got me this Bubba Wallace diecast car, Toyota Camry stock car. I had to get this one because, you know, I love Dr. Pepper. I really do. And they're putting, like, black interiors in, in the Authentics diecast. Which is something I'm not used to because I'm so used to the, like, the Lionel ones. Like, the online retailer version. The one in the boxes that have that. I never thought an Authentics could have that. But the one thing I don't like about this one is, look at that. Sometimes it rolls this way or that way. I don't know, I feel like it's like a poor roller or something, or it's kind of poorly made. But anyways, in the background, I got me a 69 Dodge Cornette from the 2022 Hot Wheels Demolition Derby 5-pack. I mainly brought it just for this car. My Days of Thunder Superflow car from the Hardee's Toys promotion that came out in 1990 by the toy company Applause. I think this is my favorite one out of the bunch. Yep, by Applause. 1990 Paramount Pictures, copyright. All rights reserved, Days of Thunder, and Made in China. Got me a... Uh, a 1990 NASCAR stock car, which is this one right here. And I brought me some, uh, a Brad Keselowski car right here. Freightliner. I love the blue accents on it. I got me a Matt Benedetta car. Motorcraft quality parts. And my apologies for making a video claiming that I found the Chase Beast. Turns out it wasn't. It's actually a liquid color, like more metallic or alternative color. So that was my fault. My apologies for that. I got me a gold Kevin Harbour car, Mobile 1000. Such a shame, really, he didn't win in this car. I guess 2021 was just basically not his year, you know? Unlike 2019 or 2020, he dominated the NASCAR Cup Series. But I think in 2021, it just got worse. But anyways, I am going to open up my Chase Elliott cars right here. I got this one from um, Cracker Barrel, and I paid 4 or $5 for it. Look at that price. Let me try to get it focused here. Come on, man. Focus. You need to cooperate with me. I'm going to get real angry. I'll just say I paid 4 or $5 for this. Got me some NASCAR Authentics numbers right there. Can anyone in the comments let me know whose numbers are these? I like, I appreciate that if you do. Collect them all. If I can find them, because most of the time I'm not always at Cracker Barrel, and that makes it harder. But anyways, I got me this car right here. Oh yeah, a Chase Elliott Napa car. Auto parts. This one's a lot different from his usual ones I'm used to seeing. Um, I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about Wave 13. I mean, Wave 13 is cool and all. I love the cars, but I guess I prefer the previous waves of this year. <clears throat> the Camaro is nice and all, but for some reason, I just like the Mustangs, in my opinion. It's okay to be different, you know? Anyways, I'm going to open these two diecasts with some music in the background. So I'll be right back.
Well, that was an interesting unboxing of my two Chase Elliott cars. Sorry for the little clumsiness. I just haven't been doing this in a while. But anyways, my Chase Elliott car right here. Number 9, Napa Auto Parts, Strength, Bravery, Courage car. This is the sticker I got. And this is the one I opened. So this one has a matte finish to it. I'm used to the shiny paint jobs, but this one... This one's different. I like it. You know, this one is different from the the usual blue and white Napa version, or blue and yellow red one, or white with it. But yeah, I'm, I'm really digging this. And mine is a, a good roller here. Hang on. Thank goodness this one rolls well. As for my Dr. Pepper car, I love this one, but... For some reason, I just feel like this one's poorly made, or it's just the like the roller, like the, when the wheels roll, are complete garbage. That's how I feel about this one. Unfortunately, I hope I buy another one and get a better roller, or I might have to buy me the online retail versions of it. Don't get offended, Bubba Wallace fans. I'm just expressing how I feel about the quality of Lionel because I watch other diecast reviewers that complain about. Lionel's quality, I do too. But don't worry about that. I got me his little Caesars car right here, number nine. I love this one. And I have eight little Caesars, yes. And I do drink Mountain Dew. Anyways, this is my little Caesars car. From Chase Elliott. I got me two Chase Elliott cars now. Two different paint schemes. One is the Napa one and the other one is the Little Caesars one. So I'm going to make another video tomorrow. Right now it's 11 or 12 in the night. I decided to upload. Just let everyone know I did not quit or anything. But uh, I'm going to make a video tomorrow. I'm going to ask you Chase Elliott fans. When did this car came out or when did it ran? Because this looks like a 2018 body style because they replaced the Chevy SS after the 2017 season. They switched to the Camaro. I could be wrong though. Probably 2018 to 21 when they ran this one. As much as I love NASCAR, I love to hear from you fans. So you Chase Elliott fans, let me know when did this, um, when did Chase Elliott start driving for Little Caesars? Because I tried looking it up and I didn't get that much results. But I could be wrong, so I'll have to look it up again. But as for now, thank you for watching my video, and have a happy June, and I wish all you NASCAR fans and fanatics and Chase Elliott fans, Kevin Harvick fans, Matt Benedetto fans, and Brad Koskowski fans, and Kyle Larson fans, I got my hauler right here, I wish you all the best, and Cold Trickle fans too, because there's a Cold Trickle car right behind them, see that? And my cornet too. But anyways. I want to wish you all a happy June. And I'm sorry I'm just not usually myself. Because um, I don't know. Sometimes I'm tired. Or I'm just. The weather can affect my behavior sometimes. <laughs> anyways. Have a happy June. Good night to you all. And have a great night or, or noon or afternoon. What am I saying? Goodness grief. Hmm. As Charlie Brown would say from the Peanuts game, good grief. Anyways, have a good night, and I'll upload a video tomorrow. Bye.